Concerned Shawnee Mission schools overspent taxpayer money on football helmets. 41 Action News investigator Melissa Yeager joins us now uncovering the bidding process some believe was actually stacked against the taxpayers. Well, when the Shawnee Mission School District bid out its football helmets earlier this year, they specifically named one company, Rydell. The district says that was for student safety, but another company who makes, makes football helmets questions that. On the football field at Shawnee Mission Schools. They take safety seriously. Last year, 41 Action News showed you how they started using these sensors and helmets to detect how hard kids were hit during games to protect them from concussions. The sensors are made by Rydell, and when the district needed new helmets, they put out a bid specifying that company. Typically, districts purchase just a few helmets at a time, rotating them out based on age and condition. But this year, Shawnee Mission decided to replace all of its helmets for all of its high schools. The bid caught the attention of rival football helmet manufacturer, Shut. It was a large bid. It was initially a 250-unit varsity helmet bid, um, which is a large bid in the state of Kansas and actually a large bid throughout the United States. The bid said the district would accept bids about comparable products. So Shut decided to bid a helmet that had all of the specifications Shawnee Mission wanted. Side impact, quick release. It was a comparable, if not equal or greater helmet than the re helmet that they were requesting. Virginia Tech University ranks the safety of helmets, and at the time, both received five star ratings. But the shut helmet was ranked number two in the country, Rydell number one. Rydell won the bid, and it came in more than $60,000 more than the shut helmet. In the meantime, Shutt had released a new helmet that pushed Rydell out of the top spot. Kip Meyer wrote the district this email offering the new helmet. It is the number one rated Virginia Tech helmet, and I told the school board that I would substitute that product in relation to our Eric's P Pro VTD2 at the same prices. But he never heard back. Through an open records request, we discovered district personnel had been in contact with Rydell well before the bid was posted. In fact, two weeks before the school board was scheduled to make its vote on the bid on May 21st, a Rydell sales representative emailed the high school coaches. Quote, I was told today by the purchasing department that purchase orders for the new helmets will not be issued until 521. Therefore, helmets will not be ordered until purchasing orders are received. I just wanted to keep everyone in the loop. A coach writes back asking when they'll get the helmets. To that, another coach replies all, better be 522 or we go with the Zenith bid. Just kidding. Zenith is another football company. The only other bid on the table was shuts. The district declined our request for an interview and refused to answer questions about whether they took this bid back to Rydell to negotiate for a better price. I still go back to the point of $60,000 is a large amount of money for a school and a school district in today's environment. I am surprised that more questions weren't asked from the initial bid process to the end bid process. And in an email, the district insisted safety is their first priority. They followed all rules for bidding process and designated a flexible helmet design feature only available on Rydell helmets, though Shutt says their helmet would have provided the same safety protection. We also reached out to Rydell. They say, quote, Rydell maintains strong integrity-based relationships with all of our customers as part of our ongoing efforts to provide the very best products and services with a focus on player protection. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.